okay today we are in our third week of uh, the course on content writing so what we have on schedule today is introduction to blogging we are going to discuss the types of blogs uh, usually we have personal blogs corporate blogs uh, we also have uh, blogs organized by gender then we have blog business blogs uh, we will also discuss blogging platforms and tools for example you must have heard about blogger.com wordpress.com and there are many other websites where you can create your own uh, blogger profile as a starter as a beginner if you do not want to own your own website that is we will also talk about the comparison between international and local blogs and what is what different styles or you have to adopt in both cases or what things you, you need to keep in mind and we will talk about the do's and don'ts of blogging uh, in other words what you should and should not include in a blog i'm going to share my notes uh, at the end of this video you will find them uh, in the link and uh, you can always go over these notes and ask questions if you want and i'll of course i'll explain more if needed or if you have any confusions you know you can always let me know so let's start off with understanding what blog writing is all about if you remember in the previous uh, lecture i had mentioned some uh, tips on how to write i gave a detailed explanation on the steps to follow for writing an article you see blog writing is a lot like uh, article writing you have to follow similar steps there are only two main things to keep in mind when you write a blog the first thing is that a blog is more casual and more uh, directed towards audience it is not like an article in which you have to maintain a corporate or formal tone in a blog you can go as friendly as possible you can even crack jokes add some humor add some phrases clauses idioms things like that uh so uh just follow the same rules as writing uh, articles and uh, you're good to go Uh, I have given a, a brief uh, definition or explanation of what blogging is, and I, in my notes you will see that I have explained it as uh, writing a personal diary of information. Some a, a blog gives you an opportunity to talk or share your personal opinions and experiences, address things that you find interesting, and of course share it with people that might have the same interests. So. as a blogger you can you can just be relaxed and write without any stress another uh, important thing to mention is that usually websites that are a collection of blogs are are also called blogs not necessarily blog sites i usually break it up into two and i say blog sites it means it means a website where you can find blogs some people simply refer to blogs as a website where you have a collection of casually written articles organized in archives or in a chronological order by date usually or group by categories uh so that's uh, there too is a looking or what a blog is and uh, i have given the definition here as well which explains exactly what i just told you right now and uh, one important thing to uh, highlight in this case is that a blog offers a reader and the writer a platform where they can share their comments as well and you can also share your thoughts or that blog on social media by sharing the link so blogging is more like a, a casual way of sharing informative content online and uh, over time blogs have changed in how they appear and they will continue to evolve with time so we have to keep updating ourselves Usually a blog site has a header or a navigation bar. There are archives, there are categories and they have the main content area where you can find the latest blogs. There would be a sidebar with a with where you can find different kinds of options. There could be a call to action, there could be social profiles, there could be the, there would be, there would be suggestions to read more blogs. There has to be a footer with relevant links such as a uh, disclaimer, contact, privacy policy. and things like that uh when we talk about 
the features of a blog site i will i will actually show you some examples i even own a, a blog site and uh, i think that will give you more uh, put more light on what you need to understand about a blog so first let me just explain all this and then i'll give you uh, some sites to look at in this video we have archives okay a website has to have an archive which usually shows on the front page because you know the front page is where the first impression can be made on your target on your on your website visitors so it gives you archives give your visitors your website visitors an opportunity to find information that attracts them the latest blogs for example they will show on the main page and archives allows them to browse through other pages as well then we have the comments area at the end of every blog there would be the option to leave a comment perhaps through their facebook id or maybe directly on the website uh, this helps engage people on your blog so if you write something that interests people or that calls for an opinion people can feel free to share their comments and you can respond to them and engage them on your blogs then we have different types uh, then we have differences between websites and blogs uh the most distinctive difference between a website and a blog is that uh, a website has pages for every service and every product that they offer or they can have categories for each product that they offer designed in the form of a web page but a, a blog on the other hand has different pages for different categories and they are organized based on the content type that you'll find uh, for example a blog might be related to everything in lifestyle like i have a lifestyle blog and there you will find different categories like education health pet pets uh, cooking recipes uh, technology news things like that and i made a, a page for each of those so every category has a page on blogs but when you look at my uh, symbolic text developers website you will actually realize that there are web pages for different services and uh, services that i offer and it's organized uh, in a very different way as compared to a blog then there are different types of blogs we have personal blogs we have um what we call professional blogs we have uh freelance blogs and we have business blogs as well let me explain what each one of these mean a personal blog is more about your personal opinion about things your own interest maybe technology travel if you have been traveling to write travel blogs sharing your experience in this if you are good with home decor you might have ideas for home home decoration if you are a health expert or medical professional or pharmacist pharmacist you could have a pharmaceutical blog talking about topics related to these and it's your personal blog so you have the right to share your opinion and share information you think is valuable for your readers and when you talk about professional blogs it could be more like uh, sharing information about a field uh and uh, people can use uh, professional blogs to monetize their strategies by using things like banners or even publishing other people's data on their blogs you know just uh, as long as it is something related to a professional topic that's a professional blog when you talk about freelance bloggers these are people that are hired by other companies to write their blogs so if you have been uh, on fiverr upwork i writer and other kinds of uh, platform where you have uh, you can easily access people hiring for blogs you will write for them so that's freelance blogging and whatever their requirements are they will share it with you and you follow their instructions then we have business blogs if you are a business owner you would want to have your own blog where you can offer website visitors information about your products and services in the form of casual blogs so it's like it gives you an opportunity to connect with your visitors at a personal level uh, encourage them to share their comments and things like that feedbacks can be valuable for you so that you can improve your business based on the comments you get through the information you're sharing on your blog we also have media blogs 
uh, these are more or less vlogs what we call vlogs nowadays and they are videos of bloggers talking in the video sharing their experiences using videos then we have uh, niche blogs in other words these are blogs focusing on a particular uh, niche like traveling food recipes and things like that then we have affiliate blogs so if you're an affiliate marketer you end up writing blogs to promote other people's products so that they buy it through your website through your blogging site uh, this is what an affiliate blog does and in the end of it of course if there's a sale through your blog there are ways of tracking everything and then you get paid per sale uh, when we talk about uh, reverse blog it means when people are when, when when a blogger has different people publishing guest posts on your website if you are if you do not have time to write yourself you can actually open a platform where others can blog and of course you as the owner like you you have rights to do whatever you wanted with that blog because it is your website but others can contribute to it and it is all about them writing guest blogs for on your website and contributing to your website uh, of course you will have to be very very considerate and moderate the the blog so that there is no unpleasant experience or incidents because other people are sharing their content and you would want to make sure that the information is good for people not bad uh blogging platforms and tools when we talk about blogging platforms and tools i'm talking about places like where, where you can start a free, free blog for your beginner's experience you have wordpress.org wix also is a good platform wordpress.com these are these are all platforms you should explore sign up open your own blogging platform and write you know it gives you an opportunity to practice the more you write the more you practice the better before you own a website of your own i would recommend trying to create a profile on these platforms it's, it's a good way to start it gives you an, an opportunity to experience something new and learn something new uh, if you're wondering why do people blog and why it is so famous because I think uh, people want a way of expressing their own personal opinion and uh, there can be different reasons for one to want a blog first uh, on my list here is it could be a passion maybe you just have the knack for writing maybe you are a beautician you are into makeup and you know you have the skills and you would like to share it with people that find you online so you can blog about that sometimes it's because of business you are a business owner and you want to come into the spotlights with your writing sometimes it's just about sharing valuable information some people are just givers you know they just want to share information like how to make money online health issues so that people can like find help online if you're one of those people then that's a reason to blog uh, sometimes people just want an outlet to express their thoughts uh, whether it is politics whether it is uh, an experience in life or views about something you can share your opinions without necessarily sharing your identity online uh, networking is also another reason sometimes people just want to find others that share the same ideas and thoughts with them and uh, it gives them, them a platform and opportunity to socialize through comments and exchanging details interacting with others from a safe point of view uh, other people have an interest as journalists they want to pursue a career or start their own online news website kind of thing so they can blog about their own passion their own thoughts their own opinions that's another reason why people own blogs some people uh, focus on having educational blogs because it is what interests them they want to share educative content uh, for some people blogging is a source of income because at one time if your website is generating a lot of traffic you can actually apply for adsense and earn a lot of money through that so this is why blogging has become quite famous in recent years um, and the next topic we have in this class today is a comparison between international and local blogs well you see it's uh, the, the simplest way I have tried to explain this is if you want to eat a burger and if you go to Pakistani burger shops you can notice that the taste will be different the spices they use will be different 
but if you go to an international burger store like mcdonald the way they make their burger and the recipes they use the spices they use the flavor itself will be obviously different so writing for international audiences and writing for local audiences is the same thing when you write internationally you have to think about a lot of things you have to change the way you you write your content the style the tone the vocabulary you use and likewise when you write for local blogs you have to follow the native dialect you have to use native proverbs native choice of words throw in some colloquialism and things like that you know maybe even use some smileys and things like that that's the obvious difference between local and international blogs when you talk about uh, international blogs throw in idioms and clauses and phrases that are internationally recognized do not use pakistani idioms and phrases that on, on an international website you know it won't make sense to people over there and it is ve- this is why it is very important to know what language you are using if you are writing uh, for pakistani audiences the english should be british english because our our past has been all about british english if you're writing for a client that is in the us then focus on us english or if you're targeting the us audience then make sure you follow the us english grammar and style and you know try to be as simple as possible for international audiences to understand you i have also listed some do's and don'ts of blogging in the do's you have to focus uh, you have to be focused on the topics that you're writing about do not uh, you know be misleading or confusing in your content be original be you do not copy paste from other bloggers have your own opinion make a unique personality of your own uh, internal linking is important internal linking means linking to your own web pages your own blogs connect them one to the other uh, somewhat in a content funnel style and uh, use high quality images like i explained in our first lecture how to find high quality images and free images uh, be responsive in your blogs like i said engage them in comments and feel free to you know listen to them share your opinions with them in fact take their feedback positively and improve be social share your content on social media engage people on social media here are the don'ts don't be unrealistic by don't be unrealistic i mean just know that you can't keep impossible goals and achieve them so know what you want to achieve from your blogs and make sure they are realistic goals limit the word count usually people prefer simple and short blog keep them easy to read fun to read you can write more than 500 you can go up to 3000 4000 1000 but make sure it's not boring content or redundant content you know uh make the grammar uh, make sure there are no grammar mistakes make sure you check the grammar thoroughly uh like i explained use grammarly use different tools online make sure there is no plagiarism and do not be negative do not say anything insulting or racially victimizing or gender specific you do not want to offend people reading your content so make sure you are very very cautious about what you write do not be negative in any way do not write very long paragraphs keep it short i always recommend keeping four to five long uh, lines long paragraphs and uh, be to the point be crisp in your sentences do not write meaning meaningless fluff content that are just a drag or that can make people lose focus of what you are saying uh, one tactic to do that is keep your sentences short so do not make long sentences do not let them exceed more than 20 words and uh, avoid exploring do not avoid exploring new ideas that means try to do some research write about new things and be brave to explore new things so this is all about blogging now let me show you some examples of uh, blogging sites and this is my website and uh, this is the navigation bar here you can see these are options these are all the categories and there's subcategories under lifestyle i have these subcategories if you click on any one of these yeah you can even look at my home page here everything is organized on every page uh, you'll find different blogs listed in a in a sequence in a chronological order and like i said they're grouped by categories so you can actually find the option on the right side here this is the recent blog section 
I have disabled the archives option but there was uh, an archive option before where you could sort or find my blogs by date so it's up to the blogger to set things up the way they want I have a tab for positive words need advice news technology this is how a blog site looks and we talked about the footer this is a footer this is what you find in the footer uh, if you go back to the home page you will see that uh, everything there is also grouped by different categories this is the most recent blogs you can see, like I said in my uh, notes a blog has recent blogs showing somewhere then this is a category for beauty and pro product reviews this is where you have related topics I have articles on fashion here this is where they are coming I have articles related to entertainment, pets and everything is categorized accordingly so you know this is how a blog looks here is another example of a blog blog site he has his own section on my words my treasures he has see this is an archive by date and uh, my readings so this is a blog site I'm alive again so this is something he has shared he's writing about his own experience business related this is another this is a wordpress site uh, you see this is what I was saying that wordpress gives you an opportunity to make your own blogs this person has his own updates this is how he blogs casual is this casual you can see that so this is what blogs looks like uh, you can always own your own blog website and uh, you know start a career as a blogger if you want to so feel free to ask any more questions if you have and feel free to leave your messages feedbacks on blogging and things like that and I'll get back to you thank you for your time